Lamar's Kendrick's Drake diss, not like us, is the provocative and unapologetic voice of this generation. We know it's been around for, for, for some years. With Lamar's unbridled energy and in unflinching honesty, his honesty, his truth, this dynamic rapper brings the streets to the stage. Spitting raw truth and unwavering authenticity with every rhyme. That's why more people was getting into it. Through his razor sharp lyrics, Kendrick targets specific individuals and institutions, mm -hmm. holding them accountable for their role in perpetuating the problems that we have. By doing so, he not only exposes the rot at the heart of the industry, mm -hmm. and I believe, this is just my belief, I believe Drake is an industry plant. <laughs> Lamar in his rap this not like us, shows us how to move to a powerful call to action. It shook people up. Lamar Kendrick reclaimed his own, he reclaimed his own autonomy and took control of his own narrative. Mm -hmm. And he was popping one after another, <laughs> one release after another. I couldn't even keep up. Go to Bandy talking about like he reached another one. He's on one. I'm like, what is this brother doing? <laughs> but not like us it is a powerful declaration of resistance and a testament. Uh -huh of the enduring power of the art to challenge and transform the status quo. Through his laser sharp lyrics, he really get to this, not like us. Hallelujah. As a beacon of hope for those who feel marginalized and misunderstood. That's why a lot of people, especially black folks, could connect, especially the West Coast. Hallelujah. California specifically, and Southern California mostly, but all in California, right? Lamar Kendrick is on a mission to shape the status quo and ignite a revolution of self-expression and empowerment. Mm -hmm. Hopefully they don't stop. Right. Challenge this system. Challenge these guys who've been getting a free pass. Yeah. No offense to light-skinned people. But they gave him a pass because he likes him. <laughs> you know, especially in the black culture, how they always uh, uh, favor on light-skinned people. Hallelujah. Drake got a pass. Yeah. So not like us, it's Kendrick's, his unapologetic truth. The thing not like us serves as an emotional anchor, navigating us through the terrains of self-reflection and critique. Lamar's repeated incantation, they not like us, they not like us, they not like us. I'm like, what are you talking about? When I first, what you mean, they not, not, not like us? Hallelujah. It became and becomes a powerful dichotomy, right? Mm -hmm. Dichotomy, distinguishing the authentic from the artificial, the real from the fake. Mm -hmm. The genuine from the counterfeit. Mm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. This haunting refrain oscillates between a call to unity and a lament for the perceived ID divide, inviting us as we listen to confront the complexities of identity and belonging. Mm -hmm. Not like us. So I want to take you on a spiritual journey. I just want to give you a little background about Kendrick and the song as I saw based on the research I've done. I like it when Joshua says, if the world hates you, verse 18, keep in mind that it hated me first. Right? He tell, he tell the disciples, they not like us. He said, if you belong to the world, you'd be like them. It would love you as it own, as it is. You do not belong to the world. 
They're not like us. So this verse highlights the tension between believers and the world. As followers of Yahshua, we can expect to face opposition and hatred from those who do not share our faith. Mm. Understand that. They're not like us. That's true. However, this should not surprise you that people hate on you. Yes. If you're a believer, you really are honoring God with your life. Mm -hmm. Don't be surprised that you have some haters. That's right. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yahshua himself experienced a similar persecution and hatred. Hallelujah. Oh, Embracing your roots give you a sense of purpose and belonging. Hallelujah. And that's what a uh, uh, kid of the morrow song, not like us, rap song. Gave to people out there a sense of purpose and belonging. He, he uh, made it plain. So it's a reminder that you're part of something bigger than yourself. He didn't just make it about himself. And that can be incredibly empowering. To you see some folk, they rise to power. They rise to fame. They rise to success. Hallelujah. Follow the devil's tricks. Can you say that? Yeah. Pretending and faking. Trying to be what people want them to be. Instead of what God wants them to be. You know, I'm the real king. Oh! <laughs> 